Next up, we have a fine poet of both um, very cool confessional work, deep and poignant work. Uh, she's also the host of a uh, monthly open mic at the Frank Bent Center of the Arts in Alameda. And uh, it's also very cool. She uses a, a traditional Japanese form. Uh, we hear about haiku a lot, but not a whole lot of people write tankas, which is a five-line uh, Japanese poetry form. And Jean does quite a few of that. Please welcome Jean Lupton. Hi, welcome. I'm very honored to be included in this group of wonderful poets, and thank you for being here. And uh, here's a tanka. 60th September, honeybees wild in yellow blossoms. I was born for middle age. That's my tanka. These are a little different. Power. After visiting the divorce lawyer, Wanda felt strong again. She stopped in the pub to celebrate with some chowder and a beer. There were oyster crackers, too. So small and so crunchy. Wanda didn't hold back. She chewed them up. She chewed them up like an army of disintegrating little husbands. Thank you. McFlurry. For weeks this spring, I had a bad cold, no appetite except for McFlurry's, soft vanilla faux ice cream with real Reese's Pieces in it, and often drove the mile to McDonald's, drive through bought a regular, not snack size, regular, parked the car there, ate my McFlurry with a long-handled plastic spoon, watched the vacant lot next door, through the chain link fence, felt happy, even though I know about nutrition. No regrets until I went swimsuit shopping. But now I wear my new, beautiful, size 16, chocolate halter-style swimsuit with frills down the front to water aerobics, working off the McFlurries, only worrying that my boobs will fly out as I bounce, but really knowing it wouldn't matter because by now everybody's seen boobs. Thank you. Daddy, Grandma, and Fidel Castro. Daddy and I were riding out Route 29 in the green Chevy station wagon to the Goose Creek Country Club for the big New Year's Day party. Suddenly, we heard on the radio that Fidel Castro had taken over Cuba. Daddy was furious. Godless beast, he yelled. Daddy belonged to the anti-communist society. He wanted me to be an anti-communist, too. And of course I was. I loved my daddy. But I said, does Fidel Castro know he's a communist? I didn't see how anybody could be one of those on purpose. Daddy yelled, of course he knows. Then he yelled, damn it, that Ford has been tailgating me for miles. I looked out the back. Daddy, it's Grandma. Daddy believed in Chevrolet. Grandma was coming to the party, too, in her white and turquoise 55 Ford. Grandma had gotten her driver's license at age 60, bought her own car, and drove it all the way to California and back. Daddy said she was plumb crazy. The party's over. Daddy and Grandma are dead now. Fidel Castro gave Cuba to his brother. I'll live in California. Thank you very much. <laughs> 